Hi, I'm Frank Farrar, President and Chief Scientist for Delta Waterfowl, and I'm standing with Tori Mesbish. Tori is the graduate student doing the work on ringnecks. You've probably seen the ringneck maps. Now Tori's going to talk to you about them. Cool. Thanks, Frank. So a couple weeks ago, Frank talked about the impacts of late springs on duck migration and their arrival to the breeding grounds. Uh, weather factors like temperature, precipitation, snow cover, and ice cover can impact the abundance of wetlands and thus food resources for waterfowl during their migrations. Uh, and these resources are vital to migratory birds that need to maintain and build up their energy reserves for breeding and rearing their young. So this spring, uh, the movements of our transmitter implanted female ringnecks showed that the timing of their migrations might be related to continental snow cover. So the following maps you're about to see show the North American snow cover line. Um, north of that, everything is snow. And then um, you'll also see the coinciding hens migratory movements. So in late February, at the beginning of the time period, we'd expect to see my ringnecks start migrating. Uh, two birds initiated movements. Uh, the, and you can also see that the snow cover extended across the entirety of uh, the northern United States. But these two birds uh, made their first stopovers in Alabama and Kentucky, uh, hundreds of miles south of the snow. Almost a month later, at the end of March, the majority of hens had taken off. Uh, however, late season snowstorms throughout the Northeast pushed snow cover down into Kentucky and Indiana, overlapping with uh, the stopover location of the hen shown in light blue here. So you can see that uh, the darker green hen as well may have overshot her initial jump toward northern Lake Michigan and backtracked after grazing the snow cover line. Moving forward to late April, all the hens had initiated migration, but prolonged winter weather conditions held the birds within the U.S. Uh, either below or just past the snow cover line. So just nine days later, at the end of April, temperatures warmed up and the snow line uh, receded up into Canada. And you can see here that our ringnecks may have responded to increased resource availability by migrating further into North Dakota, Minnesota, and Ontario. Finally, a week later in early May, snow melted in much of Southern Canada, exposing a bunch of wetlands, uh, although some larger lakes outlined here in red remained frozen. Several of the hens seemed to respond to these conditions by migrating further into Saskatchewan and Ontario. So with the majority of snow cover melted and wetlands thawed, all of Delta's radio-marked ringneck ducks are completing their spring migration and arriving at their breeding grounds. Cool. So that's some cool biology behind those maps. A lot of people have been excited about the maps, but now you know a lot more about what's driving the timing of that migration.